Howdy Pards, beautiful day here at the ranch. Absolutely gorgeous, the sun's just starting to go down. We're down here at the shooting range, you know, awful warm, 55 degrees, way up here near the Canadian border in the end of October. Absolutely a beautiful day for shooting. And what have I been shooting? Well, I've been shooting this. The Ruger SP-101. Now this one's got a few modifications to it that I've made. One is the edges on it were so sharp that it's been ground down all the way around. Most pointedly on the trigger guard, it was so sharp it was digging into my finger. So it's actually had quite a bit of material removed on the trigger guard. I'll give you a kind of a close-up look at it in this video a little later. I've had the hammer spur removed because this is a personal defense weapon and I have no plans on ever cocking a revolver when I'm using it for personal defense. That's a recipe for disaster. So this has had the full cock notch removed. It's a double action only firearm now. A nice little 357 Magnum with a two inch barrel. Stainless steel. It's a little hefty, but you know, that's what you need to shoot a 357 Magnum. You need a little heft in that thing. It is just a very accurate and pleasant gun to shoot, I found. Of course, I've been testing this out after this work's been done. I'm using 38 specials, so of course it's going to be pleasant to shoot, but very accurate gun, and I'm enjoying it on this beautiful day shooting it. Let's take a few shots with it. Let's load it up and see how it does. It's just a nice all-around gun, let me tell you. You know, the limitation you have with a revolver, of course, is reloading it. Of course, here I'm doing it manually one by one instead of using a speed loader, which will speed it up a lot when you use a speed loader. But the other is you only have five shots. It's not like the current automatics that have high-capacity magazines. But the simplicity of this makes for a very, very nice home defense gun. Let's try it out, see how it shoots. We're starting to lose our light. They drop clean. With a speed loader, you'd have this loaded up real quick. Just a nice gun. The grips on it are a rubber with a plastic insert. I'm not real hot on rubber grips for concealed carry, but these grips are functional and do do a good job. Very pleasant gun to shoot. That's a neat trick I learned years ago to half load the thing, spin the cylinder, shut it up, and check yourself to see if you're flinching. Did I flinch? I probably did. <laughs> so we only had three shots in that and didn't know when I was going to hit the empty cylinder. And it's a good way to see if you're pulling it at all. Fantastic little gun, guys. You couldn't go wrong with one of these Ruger SP-101s. If you like my channel, please subscribe.